Okay, let's show you the new way to do rendering in 3.2. First thing I'm going to do is change my floor to white. I'm going to grab this white. I'm going to give it a little bit of a reflection. And there we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open up PhotoLab. And in PhotoLab, we have, a, let me get my angle set the way I want it. Adjust that. And there's a new way to do a photograph setup called product lighting. I'm going to go ahead and click that. It's going to set all my settings here, and all I have to do is hit render. I think you're going to like this because it has all the presets that you need. It does what I'm going to call an ambient lighting, but they're calling it emissive background. What that means is that the background is putting light into your space, and you don't have to have your furniture in a room any longer. You can just turn on natural lighting, emissive background, turn on the sun on the camera, and then let it render. Of course, the easier way is to go up to this photographic setup and pick the preset called product lighting. But all that's doing is setting up all the settings for you. Once those are all set, let's let it go. You can see already it's starting to look pretty good. About a few more seconds, and it'll come up. The, you don't have to do anything else to it. You don't have to, if it's too bright, then what we will do, let me see if I close out of here. If it is too bright, I'll do some post-processing and turn my color down a little bit. Let's see how it looks. Oh, that's awesome. You can see the reflections on the floor. I used a kind of light paint, so it's pretty good. Now, again, I can take the brightness down a little bit if I want to. Give it a higher contrast. Super. So that's the new, what they're calling, product lighting, and it uses the emissive background. Thank you.